What is framework and why we use it? Let's start with the word framework. A framework is a frame and a work. Think about a photo frame. You need a photo that fits the frame's specific shape and size. Or think about the frame of a house. Everything else is built around the frame. This means that all your work is done around the frame. But what exactly is a framework, especially in the context of web development? It's a way of organizing code. Whenever you write some code in a framework, you have a specific skeleton predefined. The framework provides a basic structure around which you add your code to have a greater functionality of that system. Frameworks simplify the process of creating web applications. Frameworks are designed by other people. The arrangement in which software provides greater functionality that can be extended by additional user-written code. The most important thing is that the framework allows a standard way of creating applications. If you use a framework, it forces you to work in a standard way. In that way, you will also learn a standard procedure of creating software, a website, or anything you are going to design. Your application will be more standardized. The functions defined in the framework are reusable. This means that if you want to use the same functionality in multiple places inside your project, you can use it. You don't have to create the functions because the framework has done a lot of work for you. If I talk about a single function that is just the use of element models, then element provides you some functions that you can use anywhere you want in your project. In that case, you don't have to write that functionality to get data from the database, and whenever you want to get data, you just call that function. You don't write anything from scratch. Framework hides startup things. You don't have to worry about all the start of the things like creating the outload file, creating the session file, or creating some index file. These things are predefined in the framework. It hides all these things, and whenever you start your project, you just focus on the main part of your project and not on other startup things. A framework is also a way of processing requests. When you use a framework, you can use the routing system. This means that whenever any user hits a URL on your website, you can manage that URL and respond to that request according to you. Frameworks give you an awesome functionality to handle that request. Even the frameworks are having the model view controller pattern. This is extremely important because this is so famous that you don't have to worry about how the data flow from model to view to controller. You just have to worry about your logic, not the functionality. The implementation of framework is now gaining a level taxi beyond that. And it's so awesome that you will just love your coding experience. Now let's look at some examples of software frameworks and see how they work. In this code, we import the React library, define a function component called app, and return some HTML element using JSX syntax. We then export the component so it can be used in other parts of the application. Another popular framework is Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is a web application framework written in the Ruby programming language. Here's an example of a Ruby on Rails controller. In this code, we define a user controller class that handles HTTP requests for users. We define three methods, index, show, and create, which corresponds to the HTTP get, get with an ID parameter, and post method, respectively. In the create method, we create a new user object and save it to the database, and then redirect to the user's path if successful. We also define a private user param method that filters and sanitizes the parameters sent in the request. Finally, we have Django, which is a Python web framework. Here's an example of a Django view. In this code, we import the necessary modules, define free view functions, and map them in the URLs in the URLs py file. The index function retrieves all the posts from the database using the post object all method and renders the index HTML template with the post passed as a context variable. The detail function retrieves a specific post using its ID and renders the detail HTML template with the post passed as a context variable. Finally, the about function returns a simple HTTP response with the text about page. 
These are just a few examples of the types of code you may write when using software frameworks. Each framework has its own syntax and conventions, so it's important to read the documentation carefully and follow best practices. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding what software frameworks are and why they are important. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.